In this Screencast-O-Matic tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use this free screen recorder and save yourself loads of time using a video editor because you'll be editing your videos as you record them. Now, this is something that took me a long time to discover, and once I discovered it, I was recording videos a lot quicker and easier, saving myself so much time doing so. Okay, so I'm going to share that with you, but first, as you can see in front of me, I've got the Screencast-O-Matic open. All I need to do is click on Record. Okay, so now you can see this box open up and if you drag the box, you can see that you can adjust the size of it and you can also reposition the box to record any part of your screen that you choose. Obviously, if you want to use or record the full screen, then you would just do this to record it to full size. And you'll also notice the small box here, which shows that you can record just your screen. You can record just your webcam. OK, so if you was recording a video and you want to be seen on screen just yourself, then you would just choose that option there for the webcam or you can choose to record both. So that's when you see a recording of the screen and maybe in the bottom right hand corner, you'd see a small window showing yourself. You'll also notice that you can set a maximum time and you can set the dimensions of the screen recorder using this method here as well. And below that, you can see. This is just showing the green bar, showing the audio levels of my voice. And if I click on the arrow next to it, this is where you can choose your mic that you want to use. As you can see here, I'm using the Plantronics C510. And I personally really like this microphone for screen recordings. So it's a small headset that I'm just wearing. Uh, and it's, it's great because using a microphone that stands on your desk, if you're recording screen capture videos, then if you're taking a break from it and you go back, then obviously you're a different um, distance from the microphone and that can actually be noticeable in your audio for your videos. So that's why the headset's really good because the microphone's just always in the same place. Now below the settings, you'll see the record button. You can also see a little pencil icon here and you can click that to actually start drawing on your screen. So if you want to highlight certain things that you're talking about, you can use that feature there. But the main feature that I want to show you with this that will really help you when recording your videos is the Trunlocate feature. I think that's how you, how you pronounce it, Trunlocate, we'll, but we'll see as we go through. And what that basically means is when you're recording your video, then if you pause the video and you continue talking, and let's say, for example, you make a mistake, you can then go back to the last time that you stopped it. OK, so that means that you wouldn't have to then recreate the entire video all over again. When I first started using or creating videos, I'd try and remember everything that I needed to say. And then obviously, when you make a mistake, you have to end up going right back to the beginning. But with this, uh, once I discovered it, I was recording a small part of my video. OK, taking a break, thinking about what I wanted to say next and then continuing with it. And if I did make any mistake, then I could just truncate back to the last time I stopped it and then start recording it. So it's pretty much like editing your video as you create it. So I'll just show an example of that. So we'll click on record. And you can see now I've got the timer. Let's just close this little box here. And this is obviously where now I could go to my uh, desktop, go to the internet. I could then start recording my screen, going through this, talking about the website. And if I wanted to then take a break, all I would do is go back and pause the video. So we'll pause it. OK, and now you can see that's just paused at just over 30 seconds. Now, if I continue to record again. OK, so we're just going to continue. So I'll just be talking about whatever the website, whatever business I'm doing. And you can see this is now continuing to record. But if I made a mistake now, OK, what I could do is go pause. And if I click here. You can see that goes back to the 30 second mark. Now, if I click on record, you can see when I highlight over it, it says continue recording at seeked position. If I went back further, you can see that goes back to zero. If I go forward, it goes to the 30 second mark. So like I say, if I'd, if I'd recorded that second part and made a mistake, I'd just go back here and go from that part here. Then I just click that. Ah, here we go. So yes, truncate. Truncate is the uh, the name for it. So click on that. And now that would just start recording. OK, so it started recording from the 30 second mark. OK, so I'll just go back in, obviously carry on with the, uh, the screen capture video. And then once I've done, go back and pause. 
Okay, so as I explained, the main benefit of this is that you don't have to then start the video all over again. So what I would highly recommend doing is instead of trying to think of everything you need to say, think about the first maybe uh, minute that you're going to be covering, what you're going to be covering in that time period, and then you can talk more naturally. Uh, explain what you need to explain and then take a pause okay so you can pause the recording and then obviously you can come back once you've decided the next thing you're going to teach and press the record button to continue from that uh, last point within screencast-o-matic if you've got a lot of stuff to say and you really want to be very accurate you can actually use a script so you can use written content that you already have you can copy and paste each line into Screencast-O-Matic and then you could literally just read each line it will record your voice you can do that for each line and then it puts it all together so that you'd have the whole video script and I can show you that shortly but for now I'm just going to click on done so you can see that here you can actually still edit this as well so you can edit this within Screencast-O-Matic so if there's any ums and ahs, that kind of thing that you want to remove, you could do so. If you wanted to remove the uh, beginning, so you could cut off the, the first part, maybe once you're sort of getting set up, you can do so. Same with the end as well. And if we click on done, you can then click on this to save your video file. So you save it as an MP4, then rename your video. So once you save it to your desktop, then you can recognize the video file. You can choose which uh, folder you want to save, save it to maybe the desktop okay so you just go and save it to desktop okay so you can see that there and as you can see you've got a few other options that you can change as well and once you're done just click on publish if we go back okay you can see the video here and this is what I mentioned in regards to scripted so if we click on scripted in this first part here you can see that I could add some text so if I type hello in this video Okay, and obviously you'd add the text there. So in this video, I'll be talking about XYZ. Okay, once you're done, hit enter, and then you'll see the next line. So that's where you could enter the next line. If you've got your script already written out, you could just simply copy and paste each line. I'd suggest keeping the lines fairly short. And all you do then is for each one, you would just record your voice by clicking on the line and clicking here. Hello, in this video. Okay, so you can see that turned green. So you can just go through that, record each part of your script. You'll see that just take, took two seconds. And that will then put all of your script together, which you can then save and download as an MP3. Or you could even have the narration running and then record your screen over the top of it. Okay, so I hope that's helped. Very brief introduction and tutorial into Screencast-O-Matic but what I've shared with you there is really all you need to know. Before I discovered how to do that part that I just showed you in regards to uh, the truncate feature, I was trying to record videos which included everything that I wanted to say all in one hit and most of the time I would make a mistake and I'd end up starting all over again from scratch. So that, as you can imagine, takes a lot of time, wastes a lot of time and can be quite frustrating. So that's a very easy way to record your videos for screen capture videos and edit them as you make them. So I hope you found that video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.